Hey everyone, this is Daich, and this is a Photoshop tip for someone who has a Windows tablet PC. I have one, and I like to paint and draw on this tablet, but there is one problem. Uh, using Photoshop, you need a shortcut key, otherwise you need a keyboard and I don't want to bring my keyboard to cafeteria or whatever, wherever I, I go to draw. So I got a small Bluetooth keyboard like that. Then I can use uh, this keyboard, but uh, I don't want to bring this keyboard even though this is very small. I want to use something here. So I found a program to do it. So this is called touch key. Let me show you how it works. So I got uh, this uh, if I start it. So this is it. So uh, I set up undo, redo, and uh, brush size, and the shift control, and alt, and space. So usual things. So if I have selection, I select the first one then if I don't push anything the second selection cancel the first selection so if I push I mean touch uh, shift then I can select the second one and third one if I push Old. then I can delete the selection also if I draw something I want to change the brush size sometimes then I can push this shortcut key sometimes then I can change the brush size. So this is pretty cool. Uh, so let me show you where you can get it. So this is the URL. And if you access it, then this is the page. Uh, this is the Japanese site. Uh, this is the download button, so you can download it. But uh, everything is Japanese, so let me show you how you can set up. So after you download it, these are the files you see. Then program is touch key exit. But um, you want to set up before you use it because you know you might need different shortcut. So and you need to set up this macro text file so open it so this is the setting file uh, it looks like uh, some kind of xml file uh, to set up this you can use this macro editor exe so open up and this is the program so so this the first number is column so I wanted two columns so I put two then rest of that is that um, setting file so let's say if you want to uh, put shift key then first column is label so you can just type shift and the second one is called uh, image so you can use image instead of the text uh, I use just text I have never used the image the those six buttons are type then first button is called uh, 
normal button. And the second one is push and hold. The rest, rest of them, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how they work. But I, I use just use the first one, the second one. So for shift, I like to push and hold, so I can just use one finger to do everything. Then the uh, the bottom one. This is X size and this is Y size of the button. So just one one is fine with me. Then tap or click on this uh, space. Then you just uh, push uh, on the real keyboard. So this time I push shift key on my keyboard. When I do that, this happens. So this is what I want. If you want to push shift and control at the same time, then you push shift and control. Then click on this button. It says add. Then this text happens. So this is what you need to type. So you can just uh, select and copy and paste on the one of those lines then you can replace the existing button so after everything is done you can save it and open touch key exe there you have it so i hope it helps uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.